Hello everybody and welcome to the third devlog of Ascent. My name is Samuel Moxon. Uh, we still have the same boring old loading screen with the white cubes. Hopefully it's going to be replaced by a nice piece of art soon and a proper loading bar. But for now that's it. Uh, main title screen, I'm going to make this really short and quick. Uh, if you note the music, that is from the teaser trailer which is coming out on Tuesday as well as the website which is coming out on Tuesday. Uh, the teaser trailer is promoting the website. Uh, so hopefully everybody gets to see that and on the website there's this nice about page where you can actually read about what this game is actually going to be like because I don't explain much of it in this game uh, in the devlogs, I just really explain what I've changed and what I'm working on. So let's start picking our home system. Uh, fairly soon there's going to be a nice little tutorial girl up there saying Welcome to Ascent. You can now select where your home is. Uh, yay. Okay. And so, first thing you notice in the solar system, the big change is the planets finally don't start in a line. They start at random positions and of course we've just scrolled out and the lines have faded away. Uh, that's not the finished part of the script yet. Uh, eventually they're going to completely disappear altogether they're just going black at the moment so at this around about this distance they're going to just stop rendering altogether uh, which is cool still got our ugly old space station here from the old ascent game uh, that's not going to be their next dev vlog hopefully uh, okay research screen this is what i've been spending the last month on it's really difficult to get this right uh, because it's pretty much the backbone of the entire game. Everything relies on what's being researched. At the beginning of the game, you literally start only being able to make an office block, which lets you start researching. <laughs> so yeah, it's a gradual game. Start small, end big. Well, you know, big by monopolizer off the entire galaxy, big, yeah. So gold means it's already been researched. Silver means it's available. Dark gray means it's not available. And if it's blue, it means you're hovering over it and its details are popping up over here. Uh, so yeah, th this isn't finished yet. Now this is going to be the description, so it's going to say Station Free enables you to send out probes which are XXX large and satellites which are YYY large and uh, things along that line and it allows you to build on big massive solar panels as well and that along those sort of lines and requires it's not finished, it's bringing up its code from the database instead of the names of it. Uh, so if I research research one, it's instantaneous at the moment just at this point for testing uh, and power two is now available, battery one and research two available, but if I say oh I want to colonize really quickly, I click on it, I can't colonize yet because research hasn't been researched. Uh, so it gives me a nice little red line there and after I research that colony one becomes available. Uh, so next thing to do with this is adding the blue bars, which isn't going to happen for a long time uh, because I need to have the space station designer done by then before I can do that because scientists generate research and uh, well science points, which is what the cost is up here uh, and then that goes into the progress of researching something so I don't have the fundamentals for that part of the game yet done. Uh, next change is probes, we get this nice little menu up here uh, I've got a default one in here called Sputnik, uh, which I can deploy, edit, or delete. So if I go to edit, nothing comes up because I haven't added anything yet, I haven't made anything yet for it even. Uh, but yeah, so we can create a new one here. There's no naming ability yet, so it just comes up as unnamed. And I can add up to 12 different probe designs. And say, let's deploy unnamed one. And, uh, oh yeah, Galaxy View. New, ta new little pointer tags, none of those ugly stuff anymore. <laughs> so let's say, let's deploy a probe over here, boom, it then takes us back to our space station, it's going to zoom in, and it's going to show the probe being deployed from the space station. Uh, which of course I can't even do yet because I don't have the space station models, these are just the ugly ones from the previous version of the game. Uh, and same for satellites, so we can create a new satellite, we can deploy it over to there. If we go into the space station view, so of course the other one's disappeared because I haven't finished the script yet. Uh, it's a real simple fix, I know how to do it in my mind, I just have to get time to do it. <laughs> cool, and of course we can delete it, so let's uh, go and delete poor old Sputnik here, and it now comes up with a create new slot. And that is the entirety of the changes of the game so far. 
Uh, just those free menus. Lots of work. <laughs> Thank you for watching the devlog. I'll see you next time.